teaching you how to draw a realistic version of Kermit the Frog. Alright, photorealistic version. Yep, uh, we are going to be drawing this image right here. Kermit drinking tea. Yep. Now, um, as a professional, I just want to say that no matter what your teacher has taught you, never ever do guidelines. What you're going to want to do is jump right in with the permanent pen and draw the nose. Alright, man, well, I don't know about you guys, but drawing that amount of detail already really calls for a pat on the back. So, give yourself a pat on the back. So, I'm going to have to uh, have a break now, and I'll be with you again shortly. Right, uh, so now we are going to do the hardest part of drawing realistically, and that's drawing the face. Now, make sure you take your time doing this, and if I go too fast, you can always pause the video. Alright, now I'm just going to jump straight in. You want to do a curve right here, and then you're going to realistically go down because of gravity, alright? They don't tell you that in art school. And then some gravity over here. And then those spikes. And you want to draw his eyes and mouth. Alright, now that just looks perfect. It looks like Kermit already. Now that the hard pits are done, we're going to go ahead and finish the body. Now, because he's drinking tea, you're going to need to give him that cup of tea. There we go. And voila. If you're drawing, um, need, uh, needed uh, this wish, what you could also use is an egg to go around these ends. I know it's very hard. Just add some more detail over here shadow and all that stuff to make it more realistic yeah that looks good ready for part three i'll be with you in a right so now guys the next step of it is um you get your drawing of kermit the frog and you just pull it straight in to the sink and you pour some into it yeah you're getting running more Effects and shadows. This creates the depth of it. Right. And you'll need that. And then you're going to get some lemonade. One second. fizzing means it's working now what you want to do is um, leave it there for about a couple of days and then when you come back to it it should be good and ready I'm just gonna forward in time with my, one of my powers and all that stuff um, and I'll be with you in a minute so guys then after it's dried you're gonna want to take it out and just you know keep flapping in the wind and um and then it should come out like this. Voila. Um if your drawing of Kermit the Frog did not end up like this, then you may need to watch the tutorial again. So um I hope you like that tutorial and uh I'm on my way to my lessons now. Um what's it called? Yeah, don't forget to um like, uh subscribe and 
share to uh, all of your stupid friends, not just some of them, uh, all of them please. Yeah, that uh, really helps, really helps uh, with all my stuff and stuff. Um, also, uh, comment what uh, you would like me to do next or draw next uh, and all that stuff. Well, this is M Clown out.